What is happening, guys? Welcome on back. Ready to continue going to Chicago this time. Uh, I noticed a couple people mentioning the audio for this game with like either me being too loud or the game being too loud or the game being too, too, too low. So uh, I went ahead and tried to tweak the audio levels. The thing is, this this game's audio, um, it doesn't seem to be normalized like at all. Like there are times where the dialogue is so quiet that even I can barely hear it. And then you go to like the DNC broadcasts and it's so loud that I'm like lowering the volume of my headset. Uh, but either way, I've gone ahead and, and turned up the game volume slightly and then decreased my mic volume slightly. And we're going to hope that we reach a, uh, a more normalized threshold. I also went ahead and lowered certain sounds and increased the dialogue volume. So we'll see how things work out. But anyway. Yeah, so we went through that last time. Um, but I actually did a little bit of farming, just a little bit of farming, went back replaying old missions, getting uh, scientists and stuff. And so now we are running two MG200 ST machine guns, uh, just to show how far we went. We, we developed the, the machine gun tier almost entirely out. You can see we're only missing like two at the end, which I think one of them is like a, a secret one. Um, but there's this one, and that thing chews through ammo, so I don't want to go with that. Whereas this is 2400 compared to the 1920, so I'm going to go for the extra ammo. I also like it has a better sight on it. Um, so we got two of those bad boys. And then I also went ahead and leveled up railguns all the way up to the RG70, which has a thousand firepower. So when I charge this thing, it's... I mean, it obviously takes a while to charge, but it's basically a boss killer. Like, this thing shoots and it annihilates everything. Uh, so we're going to be running with that. We got our bazookas. We got these. And then, honestly, I'm not sure if I want to keep multi-missile launchers. Like, I like the bazookas as a nice heavy option. I like these as a nice light arm. I like this for when I need to blow away something and it's uh, a little bit farther. Um, but I'm not sure on the fourth slot. Like, I like the idea of the multi-missiles. But to be honest, they do take a while to lock on. Um, flamethrower was kind of fun. I might pull back out that. Sniper cannons, you're, you gotta stand still while you use them, so we're not doing that. I feel like grenade launchers are cool, but I have bazookas. Uh, the missile launcher is nice for taking down the helicopters, but the railgun can do that just as well. So really it's gonna be either like assault rifles or flamethrowers. So I might do, let me, let me see. Let me uh, develop my flamethrowers up a little bit. Cause I do like the flamethrowers. I like that they're able to, uh, to shred certain things very easily. And then let's manufacture one before we run out of money here. Uh, firepower. Sight. SS Sight EE. Um, huge torrent of flame, long stream of flame, upgraded range and spread. Let's go with this one. More of a long range option. And then uh, we'll equip that as opposed to the multi launchers. Plus, I feel like it's, I feel like it's, hang on, damn, so it has way less capacity. This one's 3,000, this one's 15, but if it's longer range, it should be fine. Anyway, let's start Chicago. This damn towers. God, he's such a bad stereotypical boss. Each target area has started up their poison gas control. If the density of the poison gas exceeds 181 parts per million, human death is guaranteed. Destroy the target area. It's like right now, I don't even hear audio from my my bazookas and shit. Live from the skies over Chicago. This is DNN's Peter McDonald. Using poison gas as his weapon of choice, Metal Wolf seeks to obliterate the city of Chicago. That coward, even cruelty has a limit. But rest. 
reached the shore. I From destroying the poison gas source, the poison gas density has gone down. But don't let down your guard. Hurry up, Mr. President. Like, and this is the thing. I go to options. Like, if we go to, to options and sound. You can see voice volume is set to max. Maybe, let me turn down sound effects even lower. Well, no, see, this is the thing. I don't think, I think sound effects is just like explosions and shit. But like, there's like that weird gas sound that's like deafening. Yeah, see, it's like, you just can't, just can't get the audio in this game at a good level. Tone it down to like 90. See, now I'm looking at, at my audio levels and it looks like this is really fucking loud. way get that one that I missed and I'll circle back and hit these two
can't go through that. How you like me now? the town ended in failure. Could it be that the hand of God reached down to save us? Uh-oh. I've just looked into the eyes of Metal Wolf. Any further reporting is too dangerous. This freaking guy, man. This guy is ridiculous. But our coverage of these events will continue. Because, yes, the pen is still mightier than the sword. This has been Peter McDonald for DNA. Huh. I'll say one thing for the guy. At least his misreporting is consistent. As long as the city is safe, who cares? Yeah, I don't I don't know, man. Because the Oh, no chain combo. But otherwise a good run. Damn, I got no none of the energy pods. Ooh, this is probably a hard mission to get those energy pods on. Chicago gassing was only the first of many Hall kept planned if American people would not submit to him. He thought, and they could be slaughtered by him. Fortunately, President Wilson stepped in. God is made of steel. Jody, what's the situation on the ground across America? Cruel oppression of U.S. citizens still continues all over the nation. I guess neither of us will see any time off soon. I'm off to the next battle zone. Update me on the situation, Jody. Yes, Mr. President. So we could go straight to New York. God, it just kills me that I didn't get a single energy pod and there's a ton of hostages I didn't rescue. There's like, there's a lot to do there still. I'll have to go back and do it again. Uh, let's, let's go to New York, though. The enemy force experiments on the people of New York with unmanned super weaponry. It treats the 8 million citizens who run about trying to escape like guinea pigs. Information has been obtained that energy power stations are supplying the massive weaponry. Before taking the huge weapons head on, destroy the energy supply for this mission. Good luck and... I need, uh, I need better bazookas than these things. But right now my bazookas just don't keep up with uh, other stuff. Two, precision targeting, fires trisecting shells. This was a, like, three? It looks like one more upgrade and I'll have a new tier that's probably really good. This is what I'm wondering right now, 700, 600. Let's go for the base M2. That'll give me something a little bit better than what I got, at least. Enemy forces occupy New York City. The coup d'etat forces are experimenting with an unmanned super weapon to suppress the townspeople. Destroy the target area along with the super weapon. Talk about massive 
Big boy. If what he said is true, this will be dangerous. Run away for now, Mr. President. That daddy long leg gets its energy wave firepower from a power recharge facility. Each target area obtains powerful electromagnetic armor energy. The origin of the energy supply should be cut off first. It's got all these big ass tanks around. This is this is a bit more respectable for damage. Oh shit, it's like right there. God. right here. Oh, fuck. It's mines. about to find out. Nope, we're dead. Damn. I'm blown up by that shitty robot. If what he said is true, this will be dangerous. Oh, wow. Okay. So if you get near this thing, you get, you just get cooked. 
instant death that time. Jesus. Enemy forces occupy new. If what he said is true, this will be dangerous. Run away for now, Mr. President. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. There's damn tanks on the way. Get this energy wave firepower from a power recharge facility. Each target area obtains powerful electromagnetic armor energy. The origin of the energy supply should be cut off first. I feel like this thing doesn't work well at close range. You need to have distance to use it. This is what got me last time. It's a shit ton of mines. This is, yep. Some scientists were among the POWs you rescued. They were used to research weapons of mass destruction. I got my, my power thing up. I need to go to the, the main power supply. I'll knock that out now. I literally got a run and gun to beat this thing.
shit. Wrong way. Goodbye. Fuck. See it on the radar yet. be one more thing to take out. down south. see him on the map. I'm sure if we just go around, we'll find him fast enough. Where are you at, you big ugly bastard? Where's this thing? It's like a giant daddy long legs robot. Where the hell is it hiding? Speak of the devil. Step on me! 
Don't step on me. Got it. That's why I like the railgun. Railgun straight melted that dude's out. Massive chunk. Can't even hear what she's saying. Manhattan will soon be back to its glorious hustle and bustle. Yeah. New York City is and always was built to last. Right, Jody? Of course, Mr. President. Whew. Well, managed to scrape by on that one at the end. Still got a bunch of rescues and energy pods to get, but uh, we can always replay that later. Anyway, wrapping this one up here, um, I'm going to go back and listen to this episode and hear uh, if I want to make any more audio tweaks to either the mic or the game audio. Like I said, there's just... I mean, at the age this game was made, you can tell the audio in the games was not uh, as good as it could be. So anyway, closing out for here, but I will catch you guys soon enough with more.